welcome back to our channel max spice raven bottom bed if you are watching our channel first time please do subscribe to our channel and in this video lecture we are going to discuss about solving be using laplace transform one of the most important topic in laplace one of the most important application of laplace transform so laplace transform we used to solve ordinary differential equation without finding any complementary functions and particular integral especially higher order d just using laplace how we are going to solve an ordinary differential equation using laplace we are going to discuss now the procedure first write given d first write given d e given differential equation using these notations in uh, y dash y double dash like y dash dy by dx or dy y double dash d square y by dx square or d square y using like this that means the given de will be like y double dash y dash y double dash like this will get now take laplace on both sides of given de laplace on both sides of given d so if you take laplace on both sides you will get l before every term like l of y dash l of y double dash use the following formula use the following formula these are very most important which you need to remember l of y dash s into l of y minus y of g l of y double dash s square into l of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 if we have y double dash s cube into l of y minus s square into y of 0 minus s into y dash of 0 minus y double dash of 0 so you can easily identify how we are getting these parallels? If you have triple dash, you will start with 3, ends with double dash. If you have double dash, we are going to start with double square, we are going to end with 1 dash. If you have dash, s power 1. s square, s cube, s power 4, like that you will get. s power will be decreasing and y power uh, increases. So in every term, in every parallel. So these formulas you need to use because in the first step itself you will get L of y dash, L of y double dash like that. If we have L of y dash, replace that one with this. L of y double dash, replace with this. Now, these y of 0, y dash of 0, they are initial conditions. They are given in the problem. So substitute y of 0, y dash of 0, which are given. If they are not given, we will keep that one like that only or we will assume that one has k like that. Now, send all the terms to RHS. Send all the terms to RHS except y. <coughs> that means you will have L of y here. You need to send all except y. That means you need to send L also RHS. If L if you take to RHS that becomes L inverse. Then use inverse Laplace transform techniques inverse Laplace transform technique to find general solution general solution of given D to find general solution simply Follow this procedure, you will get the general solution easily. First take Laplace, these formulas place key root. These you need to remember. Without these you cannot uh, start the solution. After uh, using these formulas, substitute these values if they are given. If they are given, if they are not given, keep y of 0 as y of 0 only, y dash of 0 as y dash of 0 or you can assume y of 0 as x, uh, k like that. Now send all the terms to RHS except Y, then L will comes to RHS. If LHS L comes to RHS, that becomes L inverse. Now use inverse Laplace transform techniques to find Y value, which is a general solution of given D. 
Okay, we will discuss one problem on this. Uh, you can understand very clearly, but very most important topic. Solve b square y by dt square plus k square y equal to zero. Given uh, initial conditions, y of zero equal to two and y dash of zero equal to zero using Laplace transforms. So what I said, first write given de like y dash and y double dash in that form. So given de can be written as given de is this one d square by y by dt square plus k square by equal to zero. So this d by d square by by dt square can be written as y double dash plus k square by. Take Laplace on both sides. Take Laplace on both sides. If you take L on both sides, that means take L to each term. L of y double dash plus k square into L of y. L of 0 is 0. Now you know L of y double dash formula. This is formula for L of y double dash. I am writing directly. S square into L of y minus s into y of 0 minus y dash of 0 plus k square into l of y equal to 0. Now see what are l of y coefficients. This is l of y coefficient. This is l of y coefficient. Now take l of y common. You will get s square plus k square into l of y. y of 0 value is given this value is 2, this value is 0. Y dash of 0 is 0. So write in the place of y of 0 to 2, 2s, yes, this becomes 0, equal to 0. Now, send all the terms to RHS, except y. So first I am taking 2s to RHS, s square plus k square into L of y, equal to 2s. Yes. Now send this term to RHS, L of y equal to 2s by s square plus k square. Next, send n to right side, except y. You need to send all the terms to RHS. y equal to, the 2 is constant, 2 into L inverse of s by s square plus k square. We know this formula very well. L inverse of s by S square plus A square equal to cos AT. L inverse of S by A square plus A square. 2 into the same one, but here in the place of A you are having K. Cos KT. This is the general solution of given DE using Laplace transform. One of the most important problems which we got for a set type in one of, one of the university for uh, 10 marks, a set type problem. Very most important, this concept uh, using Laplace solving is most important gunshot problem for every exam in external.